Hello everyone, welcome to The Social Doctor and this is Dr. Ayushi. The Social Doctor is a platform for the doctors by the doctors where we discuss experiences and knowledge from successful medical practitioners. And today we have Dr. Raja Lakshmi with us. She being one of the youngest neurosurgeon in the country, no, not only has achieved so much in her life, she also as, inspires the aspiring neurosurgeons to guide them and to help them to achieve what they want to do. So that's it. He, she's here to guide our viewers today on how to and what to do to become neurosurgeons, one of the best people in the country. Welcome, Doctor, to the platform. We are really happy to have you here. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Yes, yes. So please guide us about your interesting journey, about a brief about that. Uh, yeah. Presently, I'm a consultant neurosurgeon in Andhra Pradesh. That's my hometown. It took almost uh, 12 years completely from my hundred years to become this neurosurgeon. So my aspiration actually started from my third year. I was very much interested and strong in neurological concepts, neurology basically. So I was very close to my neurology professor, Dr. Krishnamurti sir. So the moment I was like uh, very happy and comfortable with the neurology concepts, then I thought like uh, it should be the neurosurgery in which uh, I should do it. Because uh, every many of the aspiring neurosurgeons know that uh, neurosurgery is one of the challenging branch and the most demanding branch. So it would be completely dedicated to that branch to have that. So from third year of my MBBS, I was determined that I'm going to give up only neurosurgery. So after the MBBS, I secured the rank one in CMC, direct MCH course. But uh, unfortunately, I was like uh, waiting state one in that. Still, I continued and I prepared for an MS and I cracked the MS exam. After MS, and, uh, I took up my MCH neurosurgery. So I was preparing from third year. Uh, I was strong initially in neurology and then during the MS phase, I was very uh, clear about my neurosurgical concepts. So that's when after MS, I directly cracked with uh, rank one in various national exams and I became the rank one person in Andhra Pradesh and NIMS and West Bengal, I cracked rank three. So finally, I opted to choose the uh, West Bengal IPGMER, that is the State Premier Institute. And in 2019, I completed my that. And uh, after that, I worked as an instructor for six months and then I came back to my hometown and attached it to a corporate setup and started my own uh, setup here. So it's keep, it's keeping going on. But the thing is like uh, we should have a continuous passion and even now we have to be thorough with uh, all the concepts, brush up all the concepts, yes. read up the things daily and uh, be thorough over it. Yes, yes, yes. I think so this goes with medicine always. You know, you need to brush up yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yes. yes. So now, yes, yes. So now, when you when we all of us know that you know neurosurgery is, in itself is a very demanding branch. Anybody who is yeah. going for this branch, what what will you suggest? You know, what should be the mindset of the person before entering this branch? You know, what should you be clear with before entering into it? See, uh, before taking up neurosurgery, any student should not opt this neurosurgery just by chance. There are high dropout rates in the field of neurosurgery, both in DNP and also in CH, because of extreme amount of hard work, both mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. So whoever is aspiring to neurosurgery, there are few positive things and there are few additional adds on to it. So mm -hmm. make sure everybody is actually getting this into their mind before and deciding on it, and then only finally going into take up of neurosurgery. Okay. So the first thing positivity is going to be, it is one of the highly demanding, highly reputational branch and your financial stability is going to be very strong in it. These are the few uh, great advantages of it. Mm. And there are few extreme amount of hard work that has to be done for it. So mm. even if you're going to crack neurosurgery, your residency is going to be very tough. You uh, desperately don't find any time for your family or your food or your regular things also you might not find during your residency. So be prepared for sacrificing your family life for this, but at least for a part of one year or two and be Dedicated to your things. The yeah. most important is mental and physical strength. It's going to be huge in uh, neurosurgical residence. Okay. Okay. And mortality rate is going to be very high. So whenever you take, you be prepared, be strong, how to handle an emergency. Only if a student mindset is ready to deal with all emergency stress, then they should go for neurosurgery. 
So it is 24 into 7 running branch. Mm-hmm. So day and night you can get an emergency anytime. So the mindset should be very strong, greatly motivated, persistently dedicated, and always be ready to handle an emergency in the initial few years of your career. Then automatically it gets stabilized. After a period of five to ten years of establishing your career, then it is your option to take up an emergency or need not take up an emergency. Mm-hmm. So that that comes after ten years. So the first five to ten years you are going to sacrifice a lot of time morning and night. So it is basically like this. So neurosurgery is going to your be your part of your life. Hmm. Like when you take your food, your things, neurosurgery is going to be daily part of your life, twenty four into seven. So anytime you can get a call, so be prepared for it. So emergency handling only if you have a mindset of emergency handling and a strong motivation, and never leave any opportunity to grow up, and uh, do not consider failure as a stopping part. Only then you take up neurosurgery. That is the thing. Okay. So there are many points to keep in mind that way. So yeah, yeah. the dropout rates are significantly higher mm-hmm. in both males and female neurosurgeons who take up the six years and also post MS branches. Mm-hmm. They are unable to tolerate the stress levels, probably because they are not exposed to neurosurgery much. Yes. So they have to be mentally prepared and know what actually is going to happen in the field, and then only take up the course. Yes, yes, yes. That is, actually that is the point that we are having a discussion today because you need to be very clear before taking up this branch. Exactly. Yes. So, what? So, how to prepare for the examinations for this branch? Because there are multiple things. So, how? What are the things that people after MBBS can do to pick up neurosurgery? See, any student who wants to take up uh, only neurosurgery as a determination after MBBS, mm-hmm. the best advice what I would give them is. be strong in your neurological concepts start preparing from second or third year give mm-hmm. some amount of time in your preparation for your neurology first thing so after mbbs you have multiple options so mcf neurosurgery direct six years courses are provided in saint sri chitra nimhans and cmc vellore mm-hmm. there are only selected institutions like these four which are offering six years neurosurgery courses mm-hmm. and some are giving five some are giving six mm-hmm. and there are dnb neurosurgery courses in many corporate hospitals mm-hmm. where only few corporate hospitals are having a good amount of uh, cutting chances and academics okay. so when you start preparing post mbbs paper is going to have a division okay. and make sure you're going to read only in the division many actually don't crack neurosurgery because they don't know how to read the questions hmm. so the first thing is uh, now it being an integrated system a common entrance system Except for Sri Chitra and Nimhans, only these are the two institutions which are getting separated. And I think yesterday there is a live notification from AIMS stating that Nimhans is also getting included. And uh, unless it is going to get uh, implemented from next year, I'm not very sure. So up to now, there is a common entrance for remaining all, including AIMS, CMC, Vellore, and many others, except for Sri Chitra and Nimhans. So can you please repeat this last part? It was a bit quick. Yes. Except for Sri Chitra and Nimhans, mm-hmm. up to now. There is a common entrance for remaining all institutes. Okay. As per neurosurgery six years course is concerned. Okay. So, how when you are preparing for other than Nikitra and Mihans, mm-hmm. you are going to focus on your all medical subjects. It's okay. a general preparation like how you prepare for MDMs. Mm-hmm. There is no variation in the paper. Okay. It is just your your rank, and that rank will decide you whether you will get neurosurgery seat and okay. whether you will be able to take up or not. There is an exception. That is in Sri Chitra and Nimhans. Okay. In Sri Chitra and Nimhans also, among the paper division of hundred, seventy percent of the questions are going to be concentrated from your general medical subjects, okay. like from the starting of first year anatomy till the end of general medicine in final year. All these four, all these four year subjects, it's like a general paper, up to seventy percent, okay. except the thirty percent. Among these thirty percent, the maximum are going to come from Neurology and psychiatry, and only some amount of the part that is around fifteen percent only is from neurosurgery. Hmm. So hmm. any student post MBBS, any of the institutions are not expecting them to be thorough in their complete neurosurgery. Hmm. They just want a student to assess among the neurological concepts, the psychiatry, and a part of neurosurgery. Okay. So if student is preparing among these institutions, they have to. Be more thorough on part of neurology. That's all. Okay. As for the neurosurgery is concerned, post MBBS, question mm-hmm. papers are most of them are set from neurotrauma. Okay. General neurosurgery and neurotrauma. 
so post mbba students need not go more in depth of neuro oncology neurovascular and neuro radiology so okay. they are able to focusly selectively concentrate on neuro trauma mm. and also general neurosurgery that will make them successfully get a vaccine mm. mm. this is this is very yes. for post mbba sir concern okay 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 so that's that's really helpful but you know which all institutes out of this that you you will suggest people to pick up if they specifically want to work for neurosurgery you know which are which are one of the best institutes to pick from these that you mean in india as a, as in now we are concerned as per neurosurgery the first comes aims nimhan sri chitra cmc mm-hmm. well and few other delhi institutes like gt gt pant KM Bombay, everything. Mm-hmm. So, as per MPH neurosurgery is concerned, if a student is able to crack up in AIMS in hand for speech drug, it is one of the best. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. And there are advantages for six years course when compared to three years what we did. Mm-hmm. That is, for six years of dedicated training, two first two years they'll be concentrating in a general part. The next four to five years are going to be dedicated for neurosurgery. Okay. So, the more number of attempts they do in taking up the challenging surgeries. the more time they will actually increase their uh, concepts or revise their concepts they're going to be more thorough in that field yes 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 so now the people and many of my professors are actually encouraged and motivated to act uh, to promote students entering into mcs you know the six years course but only thing post mbba students they are very tender not exposed much to neurosurgery so they should be determined and uh, they should not drop out in between mm 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 yes that is the only thing Mm-hmm. Because the six years course can at times be very difficult from the start. That is the reason it gets difficult for them. Is it exactly? Six years is actually a student first view. It has a, a long course, mm. but there are one thing for it. See, after MS or after DNB general surgery, again we are going to write an entrance, and then only crack your either your MCH or DNB specialty, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, but in the six years course, you are going to end your entrance examination after MBBS only. Yes. Yes. There is no. need of once more in uh, yes another uh, exam mm-hmm. so you people consider it as an advantage of it few mm-hmm. people who are ready to take up other entrance they are like okay for a second entrance mm-hmm. and especially you get into one of the best institutes also because six years courses are in selective colleges which are one of the best places exactly yes. what i have explained to you is regarding the mcs neuros of the six years courses mm-hmm. there are many really serious neuros of the three courses and uh, but you should be very wise in selecting those dnbc because all corporate hospitals which are providing dnbs are not uh, always worth okay so it's also not only so a student should be capable enough or take a guidance from any others to make sure that they are in the correct placement when opting a dnb okay 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 that's that's because in dnb yes for hospitals you need to be sure so exactly so when it comes to works you know what post all of these courses what kind of work are you exposed to what what are the different kinds of work and what is the kind of lifestyle that you get exposed to the regarding the work uh, any institution whatever they offer so at the end of their neurosurgical residency they should be able to do with their independent trauma surgeries neuro trauma surgeries and neuro spine surgeries independently okay and they should have registered uh, some amount of tumor and also neurovascular surgeries okay so any institution which is going to provide hands on and a training with a good academics is going to be the best as per this is concerned yes yes as for the remaining work style as it is concerned and definitely as i had told you before residency neurosurgical residency is going to be definitely damn hectic mm-hmm. so literally don't find uh, time to eat or uh, speak to your beloved ones or have some time to allow them mm. so uh, surgical neurosurgical residency first day it is going to be hectic but uh, we can actually overcome it okay so this people uh, and i have seen now uh, uh, we had actually done 48 to 72 hours of neurosurgical residencies uh, okay. complete good time so because of the extreme amount the workload uh, so this actually keeps going on nobody asks us to do but still it is the work pressure that is present there so we have to do it mm 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 Yeah. the life in the neurosurgical residency is going to be a bit hectic but after that it is your option to choose mm. so it depends upon what type of lifestyle you are actually opting out to choose so okay. if students prefer to settle in a peripheral place as a sole neurosurgeon mm. or establishing their own setup 
Mm. This is the first option. If they are going to set up in a pencil place and going to the sole neural surgeon, the work button is going to be more. And okay. again, it's going to run 24 into 7. Okay. But uh, economically, they are going to be very small. Only mm. thing they have to think of the risk of uh, sacrificing some time. Mm. And the second option is corporate setup. If you are going to be a full-time uh, practitioner in the corporate setup, mm. the headache is going to be a bit less because you are not independent and you have a team to work on. Mm. So you are going to be only with proper neurosurgeon. And you're going to pay uh, very good, two to three times when compared to the government salary. Mm -hmm. So this is second option. The third option is central institute or a state government institute. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to join in a central or a state government institute, you're going to get a fixed salary. Mm -hmm. And the institution is going to give you a lot of security. Mm -hmm. As everybody knows now, medical legal cases are very high. Mm -hmm. Emergency cases are going to run 24 into Yes. You don't know what is going to happen and if with what situation you are going to be stuck in. Yes. Institution is going to provide a security, but there are few disadvantages. Yes. Which does not allow you to go and practice outside. You have to dedicate only in institution. Mm -hmm. There are uh, many advantages. Like uh, one is your job security, second is you get to do all your uh, complicated neurosurgeries because you have a complete team set up for it. And you'll have uh, very good uh, cutting chances. Your hand in neurosurgery is going to be one of the best if you're going to work in any of the government colleges there. Yes, yes. So, so you can do any, any surgery uh, right and left after uh, doing your minimum five years of uh, service in government. Mm. So that is the workload in every government institution because not all government institutions are equipped with uh, neurosurgical specialties. So those who are, uh, which hospitals which are actually equipped are always overloaded. It is the same in every state in India. Okay. Hmm. We actually have in government hospitals, they have a waiting list of at least 50, 90, 100. Okay. So patients have the wait list numbers 1 to 90 or 1 to 100. Hmm. So you can get how many people the doctors might be operating per day. Still, there is a lot amount of waiting list. Yes, 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 yes. There are many different options. So this amount, if uh, a budding neurosurgeon opts any of these three different options, the lifestyle is going to be based upon the options what you are choosing. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And uh, when it comes to the salary thing, according to you, the corporate is good enough, good, is one of the best one with the lifestyle it's, and salary. Like any other branch, uh, super specialities are going to be uh, having a very good pay. Yes. Central Institute and the state government institute, depending upon the state, they're going to pay. Central Institute set a match from 1.5 to 2.5. And in a corporate setup, uh, you can actually earn at least two times more than this amount. Hmm. And if it's going to be a private setup, it depends upon your energy. If okay. you're going to be fully energetic and fully dedicated and doing a lots of cases, there is no stroke for your salary. The zero count can yes, yes. increase too much. Yes, yes. That's, that's true. No, that's 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 so nice to know about the entire detail of how to from the start of how to what should be the mindset, how to enter and how to you know work in this. In this branch, it's it's very nice to know as well as very motivating to know for the for the viewers who are who want to enter this branch. So, mm -hmm. anything that you want to tell our viewers who are who want to enter this branch, any motivating words and you know inspiring them to get into it, something that t gets them on the track. Yeah, see, uh, international way as per the international census and everything is concerned. Neurosurgery is one of, is considered one of the top medical branches. Mm. So it is considered top not only because of earning, that's considered top because of the amount of uh, energy a neurosurgeon actually spends. Mm. So there is no doubt that uh, neurosurgery ever continues and there is no doubt that it's going to be saturation. Mm. This one branch which cannot have saturation. Mm. And uh, there's no doubt that uh, probably competition is going to be high. No, it's not going to happen because neurotrauma is the the crux and bread and butter of neurosurgery. So invariably trauma is going to happen worldwide. Whenever the vehicle moves and the patient a person moves, people move, trauma is going to happen. Yes. So neurosurgery any, anywhere in any place, they can actually start their setups or be independent or join any of the hospitals and they will survive. Mm. So trauma is the crux. Mm. And the most important thing is it being having the challenges. Mm. And it is always in uh, ever developing branch. There is always new upcoming situation. So mm -hmm. any person who wants to take up neurosurgery should have a strong mindset and determination that they are going to take up neurosurgery. And be prepared for the worst part that is your dedication of time. Mm -hmm. In your neurosurgical right, residency is going to be hectic. 
So be prepared to dedicate your time for your neurological residency. At least for one to two years, your life is going to be active. After that, it's going to be easy. So if you're dedicated to that, then neurosurgery is going to be like a piecemeal thing. Mm. And once you are a neurosurgeon, you know how uh, your uh, satisfaction is going to be. So treating a patient who is having a poor GCS and let him go walk to home is going to be a uh, more satisfying thing for the consultant in the system. Because uh, in emergency, you're going to come save the patient, do a surgery, and let the patient go walk back home normally. So it's going to be highest uh, satisfaction what uh, we can have. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so sure. So person determined can actually go ahead and lead to become a successful neurosurgeon. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this is this is one very big thing with the neurosurgeon branch that you you make a person alive in you know in literal. Yeah. Yes. So thank you so much, doctor, for this insightful discussion and so this or uh, this insightful knowledge that you know you have given us as well to our viewers. I'm sure many of them are motivated to get into the branch and very clear now what to expect and how what mindset to take to get into the branch. Uh, th you know, thank you so much for all for all of you to 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 have to view this amazing conversation. I'm sure. It must have been insightful for you. Do share it with your friends and your colleagues who are looking for this information. It will be helpful for them as well. Also, do 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 share, like, and follow our page on our Instagram, on our YouTube channel. You can find all our previous videos as well there. Thank you so much, Doctor, for this discussion. It's it it's been it's been really nice to hear you throughout. It's and it's really insightful for me as well. Thank you so thank much. You. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Also to all of those who will watch this on replay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye, everyone. Good night.